Klinefelter syndrome is a sex chromosome condition which results in the presence of an extra X chromosome in males, a karyotype of 47XXY instead of the typical 46XY. The extra X chromosome and the genes it carries commonly results in smaller than average testes, low testosterone levels, infertility, breast development, and decreased muscle mass and bone density. Kleinfelter's is one of the most common DSDs, affecting about 1 in 500 to 1 in 1,000 newborn boys, a rate of around 0.1% of births. At conception, the chromosome set for Kleinfelter's begins with 47XXY. This is because one of the parent's reproductive cells, eggs, or sperm experienced an error called non-disjunction, which prevents chromosomes from being distributed equally during cell division. During typical reproductive cell division, each egg gets a single X chromosome, leaving four egg cells, each with an X, and each sperm gets either an X chromosome or a Y chromosome. However, with non-disjunction, an egg or sperm may end up with an extra X chromosome. If an egg with an extra X chromosome, XX, is fertilized by a sperm cell with a Y chromosome, the fetus will have Klinefelter syndrome. And if a sperm with both an X and a Y chromosome fertilizes an egg with an X chromosome, the fetus will also have Klinefelter syndrome. Around the eighth week after conception, the 47XXY fetus undergoes gonadal differentiation. The activation of the SRY gene on the Y chromosome causes the bipotential gonads to form into testes. As the gonads differentiate into testes, they produce two hormones, anti-malarian hormone, AMH, and the androgen known as testosterone. Just like their 46XY male counterparts, males with 47XXY are fully exposed to AMH and testosterone. With the testes producing the anti-malarian hormone and testosterone necessary for male reproductive development, the malarian structure, which forms the fallopian tubes, uterus, cervix, and upper part of the vagina, disintegrates, and the Wolfian structure, which forms the epididymis, vas deferens, and seminal vesicle, develops. Because of a functioning SRY gene, anti-malarian hormone, and functioning androgen receptors, the fetus develops anatomy to support the production of small gametes. Thus, newborns with Klinefelter syndrome are males. Most males with 47XXY are not diagnosed at birth. Instead, many diagnoses of Klinefelter syndrome occur during puberty or adulthood. It's estimated that up to 75% of affected men and boys are never diagnosed. The diagnosis for Klinefelter syndrome uses karyotype testing, where an individual's chromosome composition is analyzed through a blood sample. The extra copy of the X chromosome results in smaller testes, which leads to a reduced amount of testosterone. In the absence of hormone treatment, affected males may experience incomplete or delayed puberty, develop breast tissue, experience decreased muscle mass, decreased bone density, and a reduced amount of facial and body hair. Small testes and decreased hormone production means that most males with Klinefelter syndrome are infertile. However, High-end reproductive technologies can help reduce the rates of infertility. In terms of development and cognition, boys with Klinefelters may exhibit problems with coordination that delay the development of motor skills. They often have learning disabilities, problems with reading, and mild delays in speech and language development. However, boys and men with Klinefelters tend to have better receptive language skills, the ability to understand speech, than expressive language skills the ability to produce speech. Because of this, some may experience difficulty communicating and yet, at the same time, excel at listening. A variety of treatments are available to improve the life and health of males with Klinefelters. The most common is testosterone replacement therapy. This can start at puberty and help the development of facial hair, a deeper voice, and stronger muscles and bones. Other than hormone therapy, Occupational therapy and physical therapy, combined with physical sports, can help build muscles and develop better coordination. 
Speech therapy can increase expressive language skills. Counseling and support in school can help affected boys develop stronger learning skills. And finally, taking part in group activities can help build social skills. In all, males with Klinefelters have a unique set of developmental differences which arise from the presence of an extra X chromosome. Through the application of strong social support and appropriate therapies, males with 47XXY can live happy and healthy lives.